Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have Uncarina stellulifera, or the mousetrap tree, a bane of large animals, and not mice as the name suggests. This is a small deciduous succulent tree from the dry areas of Madagascar. Well, looks beautiful enough like this. It has pretty big, beautiful pink flowers. Those are enough reasons for cultivating it, but those beautiful flowers grow into something terrible. Into some of the most vicious fruits in the plant kingdom. Oops, okay, I have to be careful. Well, as long as the fruit is still green, it's quite harmless. But once it matures and is ready to fall off the tree. The juicy parts kind of dry up and those horrible harpoons are exposed. Look at that. Look at those harpoons. The, the long spines have four hooks. You can see them from above. Here is one, oh, here is one with five. Here is one with six. Here is one with seven or eight. So, okay, the long spines have several hooks. And they are also short spines to make everything worse. Oh, God. I, okay. Now I cannot get it off my fingers anymore. Okay, when I'm very careful, when I stay very calm, and I'm very careful, I'm able to remove this. The hooks are also so far apart that little animals like mice are not being trapped, despite the name. No, actually, in Madagascar, the animals usually trapped are Cebus and lemurs. Well, Cebus, oh, 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 okay. Okay, too much, too much, too much. I walked, uh, now I first have to detach the one on my hand. Oh, God. If you panic, and most animals are prone to panicking, if you panic there, you cannot be... Oh, God. And now my shoe. Good that I'm not barefoot here. Look at that. I wanted to walk around the tree and stepped into a bunch of those fruit. Imagine you are a poor animal. You step into that. You feel the pain. You start running. There is something attached to your leg. Or if you lie down or brush against the tree, maybe your belly, your back, your butt... Oof. Okay, I managed to remove one and now I think it's somewhere attached to my pants. How? How to remove those? Look at that. Imagine you are a poor animal. Okay, I managed to remove the bunch. Well, nowadays those fruit usually attach to seaboos or cows which are not native to Madagascar or lemurs. The lemur is basically a monkey. Remember the film Madagascar? Yeah. What was it? King Louis? Was he called King Louis? No, this was the jungle book. Well, there was a king, a lemur king and thousands of lemurs. Imagine those monkeys, those primitive monkeys which have well developed hands, they still fall prey to those fruit. Well, pff, even the tree itself falls prey to those fruit. Look, none of those fruit which are hanging on the tree is actually still growing on the tree. They are all just hanging. Oh God, look at that. The, the, up, uh, the uppermost one is actually still hanging on the tree. It's still attached to the tree. And the three lower ones are just hanging on to it. Look, this here is also just hanging on a hook. Those here, they are all, they are all disattached, but they are not. Look, they are not growing on the tree anymore, but they are still there. So imagine big cows are falling prey to this tree. Lemurs with their really well, with a quite high intelligence and quite uh, and quite able hands are falling prey to this tree. But 
The lemurs are not the perfect host, they're a little bit small. They can get entangled in a big bunch of those things. And also with their hands, yeah, with some force, they can actually remove some of the fruit. So, what was this thing adapted to? What was the original disperser? Well, nowadays people think that it's the extinct elephant bird. A sort of giant ostrich. The biggest bird that ever lived actually lived on Madagascar until a couple of hundred years ago and coexisted with humans probably for a short time and probably this is the origin of the legend of the rock bird from Simbad and from other Arabian legends and this gigantic ostrich which was like three and a half meter tall well it wasn't called elephant bird for nothing is the most probable it's the most probable uh, target for which this tree evolved its fruit. There were also giant lemurs on Madagascar, but the bird was probably more widespread and lived there until more recently. Look at what a what an incredible trap. So many fruit, so many fruits which are just hanging, hanging on, despite not being on the tree anymore. They are just hanging on in clusters, waiting for some large animal to come to brush them off. They will painfully hook the animal with those harpoons. And probably it will take the animal days to get rid of them. Even I, with my human hands and human intelligence and with all the warnings I had about this tree, fell prey to it. Amazing thing, amazing fruit. Despite the fact that it has those horrible harpoons, it's actually being sold uh, to horticulturists. You can buy this thing. You can even buy it in temperate areas and try to cultivate it in a pot. Here on the Canary Islands, you can cultivate it in your garden. They actually nursery selling it. The flowers are supposed to be incredible. Think about all the practical jokes you can do with this. I think if you would hang a couple dozen of those to a fishing line you could actually you could actually land some fish they are so incredibly difficult to remove if I would panic and start pulling at it it would draw blood and it would it would bury itself so deep into my hands only the fact that I'm remaining really calm and I'm, I'm trying really carefully to move my fingers until some of the hooks come off saves me from being completely impaled on this thing. So folks, this was the mousetrap plant, which would which should usually be called the which would should better be called the elephant bird trap. But yeah, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Tenerife and its incredibly beautiful palmetum. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.